A Christian organisation has spent $140 million on a campaign to promote Jesus in the upcoming US Super Bowl. Advertisements from the group have been shown on billboards and streaming services in response to record declines in Christianity. There was this controversial figure. Everywhere he went, people challenged him. The message is stark, arresting, and backed by $100 million. That's how much organizers say is behind this campaign to market Jesus as a patient, loving, inclusive cure for our divisive times. With the tagline, he gets us. Jason Vanderground. We're trying to unify the American people around the confounding love and forgiveness of Jesus. The campaign website is filled with phrases saying, Jesus called out the toxic religious and political systems, led the protest against the walls that divide us, and broke the chains that held women in bondage. Merchandise declares Jesus was a refugee and an immigrant. At first blush, it can all read like a stand against radical right-wing politics and related divisiveness. But the campaign pointedly says this is not an attack on anyone. It is an outreach to young Americans whom polls show are abandoning Christianity and other faiths at a historic pace. A lot of times when people look at Christianity, they see it as much more uh, unfortunate, uh, hypocritical, judgmental, kind of discriminatory. Add the fact that He Gets Us is funded by anonymous donors acting through a Kansas nonprofit linked to staunchly conservative causes, and it raises alarms for some skeptics, such as Chrissy Stroop, a former evangelical who now reports on religion. I believe the He Gets Us campaign is a uh, PR effort and, and website uh, strategically developed by right-wing evangelicals to uh, rope people in with inclusive sounding messaging and get them plugged into local churches that will uh, eventually teach them that to be a Christian means to support right-wing politics.